uh, for making the APO, you have to go to store, order, then order, and click on purchase order. Okay, and purchase order, you can, first of all, you select the supplier by click here on the supplier list. You can find all suppliers you have. Okay, all suppliers, you can find it here. Okay, what if the supplier is not there? Click on add and add one more supplier by click here add mm -hmm. to add a new supplier. Okay, that if you want to add a new supplier, you'll just write the supplier name and click on save. Okay, if the supplier supplier name and the other information for the supplier, like TRN number, his mm -hmm. TRN number, all other information for this supplier, mm -hmm. okay, after that and click on save, automatically you can find the supplier comes mm -hmm. here. Okay, after that you come here to the code or description. Description of the item, what you are going to require. It. But this description you cannot write it from your mind. I, mm -hmm. I, I cannot come just to write something like that. It will not accept. Mm -hmm. Because you have to select it from the item list. So come to description, make enter two times. It will get you all items mm -hmm. available. Okay, what if the item is not available? So first of all you have to go to item list item list so this is the first step before mm. you start using this order mm. you have to go to item list and create all items you have to create all your items mm. before these items you will use it for more than one abo not, mm. not an item for mm. each abo for example you always required steel so come here and create the steel item mm. okay even you can categorize them you can make it in a different category uh, for example if you want to add a category just go to group list mm -hmm. group list yeah in a group list you can find the three buttons add edit delete this you have only group called group one what if you want to add more groups click add and right here uh, for example building material save Like that and all other items you can add. if you have the item excel sheet i can import it to the software after that when you go back to the item list you can find here the group number one building material blah blah like that okay in a building material item will add right here item name you can say steel 5m for example and save Okay, now we add steel and all items like that. Now, you will make order, purchase order. As I told you, you can select purchase order, supplier. Come here, you can find here steel, 5mm. Otherwise, you can search. If you come here and make uh, steel, make enter, you can find steel. Quantity required, we can say 20. Okay, price, you can put the price, and description in a note. You can write here the description, if you have a specific description, like this steel you need it to be with a specific size or whatever, you can write here steel, five uh, centimeters, Whatever you want to, to add, you can write it here. Okay, mm -hmm. after that, save. You can even print it. If you go here, you can print. Give me your design, I will make it. Mm -hmm. and you can print the, the design you want. If you want to add one more item, you can, for sure, you can add thousands of items, mm -hmm. don't worry. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And save the order. If you want to check all order list, mm. you can go to order list. Mm -hmm. You can find all orders here. You can find which one is still in progress, which one is finished. If, if there's a finished one, you can find which one is finished, which one is still in progress, like that. You can get all of them. That's it.